I'm not angry at whatnot, but I am disappointed. Back 10 years ago, a lot of you know, I used to be a comedian, and I haven't got paid to do it. Uh, but earlier on in my career, and it hardly even was a career, I had to bring people to shows in order to get time on stage. It's called bringer shows. Uh, and bringer shows kind of suck because you got to put people in a position to pay money to see you. They got to buy drinks. You know, they're not, they're not there for your comedy. And that makes telling jokes tough. And that's kind of what's happening to Whatnot. Whatnot is turning into this platform for bringer shows. And I'm not mad, okay? I'm not saying Whatnot shouldn't do this. They're a business. They have obligations to their employees to make money. Uh, in whatever ways they think makes the most sense. I'm not mad at whatnot, but I am disappointed because I think it could be so much more. The way that we see companies like eBay, Amazon, even Etsy bringing in buyers through paid advertising at the cost of more fees, which I would be happy to pay. Uh, it's it's kind of sad to see whatnot just trying to cash in on people's existing following, going out to major celebrities like Post Malone, hope his ribs are okay, I saw him fall, to minor influences in these specific niches who can bring an audience and drive up revenue that way. Again, they have every right to do this. And I'm sure for a lot of people, it makes a better buyer experience. But I'm just saying that, okay, if you're becoming a platform for bringer shows, where is your notoriety? Because nobody remembers the first search engine. They remember the best search engine. Nobody remembers the first live selling platform. They remember the best live selling platform. I've ran five sports cards auctions, and the first four were all really, really good. Made a lot of money. People were eager. They were happy. We had good uh, banter in the chat. It was fun. I liked it a lot. I talked to some whatnot people, and they really had some great plans for how they were going to build out the e-commerce aspect. That was awesome. But then two days ago, I ran a, a what at auction, 125 cards. And these are, you know, high-end uh, veteran prisms, parallels. What that means is, is, uh, is cards like this. You buy a, a blaster box for 30 bucks or a mega box for 50 bucks, and you get four or five of these cards uh, and a whole lot of base cards. Uh, and maybe you get like one autograph worth $25. These, in my opinion, you know, these inserts of, of, uh, of premium retail brands, I sell, and I have my opinion, I, I sell them all day for one to five bucks on eBay. All day, okay? I go on whatnot and I run a hundred auctions. More than that. I mean, I'm running auctions constantly. Not a single thing sells. While I'm running these auctions, I've got 10 people in the room. I can't bring people in to buy sports cards. I'm trying. I've got my Cash to Cards YouTube channel I'm trying to build up, but I don't have an audience for that. Still, though, I go in and I say, hey, maybe there's going to be enough people in there looking for shows that want to spend some money. It's Friday night. Why not? Uh, but what not has become, uh, like I said, a, a place for bringer shows. Nobody wants to build their collections out. They want to buy from people that they have this relationship in their head with that they're fans of they want to buy stuff from the people they're fans of that or they just want to gamble that's what these box breaks and mystery packs are it's just gambling nothing against that you know they're all adults but i it's just that's what it's become i'm not going to sell these cards again on whatnot because they don't sell maybe i will do mystery boxes maybe i'll i'll, I'll put these in mystery packs i'll buy you know two mac jones uh, blue press proof rookies and I'll put them in mystery packs and I'll sell the packs for 15 bucks a piece and I'll sell 50 of them. Maybe I'll do that and I'll just rely on people's uh, impulses to get a good deal. I don't know. I don't know how to, you know, I don't want to denigrate those who gamble because I gamble. I lost five bucks last weekend. Didn't hit parlay. I don't want to, I don't want to talk down on those people. I'm just saying that, that it's it, when you rely on gambling to make money, you're not relying on good products. You're relying on people's vices, and that's unsustainable at best. So where does this leave us with whatnot? Where are we? You know, is is whatnot a place that I want to sell on still? Yes, absolutely. 
But I understand now that I don't have the audience to sell these for a dollar a piece. I do on eBay because eBay invests in bringing buyers to your store. That you know, I'm building up the other YouTube channel. Maybe we'll do monthly auctions there where we're going to go through one dollar just clear our inventory. That's a way I like using whatnot. But again, if that's all whatnot is, if whatnot is a platform for bringer shows, then I have no loyalty to them. I'm going to go wherever the lowest rates are because I can corral those buyers to wherever I want them to. Maybe in two years, there is a, a software service company who does live auctions on your own website for a 3% fee. Only the processing fee. Maybe that happens. Maybe Gumroad be, begins doing live auctions. I don't know. But what I do know is if this is the way whatnot is going, if this is the way that e-commerce live selling is going, these sellers are going to have no loyalty to any platform. They're going to go where the rates are lowest, who offers the biggest affiliate fees and commissions. That's not bad, okay? That's not a bad thing. But it is something that we should be aware of. And it does spell opportunity for someone to get in between uh, buyers and sellers with less friction, with lower fees, with whatever buyers and sellers complain about. For these cards, it's there's no $1 shipping. I can use eBay to do plain white envelope shipping for a dollar, but I can't on whatnot. Maybe that's why I can't sell these cards. I don't know. Personally, I think it's that because whatnot has become a platform for one, bringer shows and two sourcing people are buying cards video games everything with the intention of reselling on a larger marketplace again nothing wrong with that i like that idea i'm just saying that if it's those two things people like me who are trying to build a community that they can sell collectibles to you'd think they'd want to do that we're being pushed out uh because that's not making them enough money. It's not entertaining enough. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's, you know, whatnot again has all the information. I'm sure they're doing what makes the most sense for their business. But what I'm not sure about is if this is what's best for people like myself and probably like you watching who uh, can't bring 800 people to a show, who aren't okay selling sealed video games at 30% market value. What do you think? Love to hear your comments below. I'm Blake. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.